In this video, I'm going to show you guys the best way to get tons of diamonds inside the brand new diamond mine in Pet Simulator X. So in the brand new update, they added a brand new diamond mine that is right next to the spawn. And as you can see, we have three areas which can give a ton of diamonds. And I have been grinding to enchant my pets, and as you can see, I have a bunch of all of the brand new enchants including the brand new unique diamond bag master enchant so i'm going to be seeing how many diamonds i can get and it should be pretty crazy since i have all of these pets so yeah let's get into it right now so yeah a lot of people were saying that this update was really bad and honestly i kind of agree although i think they did go ahead and buff the area slightly so we should be getting a little bit more diamonds. And I think in newer servers, they also got rid of the triple diamonds boost, but I'm inside of the old server, so I still have a little bit left of it. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and use some boost. I think we do also have the super breaker event as well. So yeah, let's go ahead and test it on just this present real quick to see how many diamonds we can get. And okay, not bad. We only got 34,000, but that's also because a lot of these pets I do have have diamond bag luck. And what they do is they have a higher chance to drop a diamond bag. And the same thing, with the diamond bag master and yeah i didn't get any diamond bags from those but these i should be able to from this chest or actually let me try this chest because it has a 10 times diamond multiplier so maybe we'll get a little bit more but yeah my opinion this world is just pretty bad considering you have to sacrifice a huge pet just to get into here and it's pretty underwhelming considering you do not get very many diamonds at all yeah, there we go. We opened it. I mean, we're not, it's pretty decent, actually. We got a million diamonds. Pretty good. And that was only in a couple seconds as well. So getting a million, I guess, isn't terrible. But yeah, like I mentioned, the fact that you have to sacrifice a huge pet, you should be getting way more diamonds inside of this world. And also considering I have, like, the best enchants pretty much you can have on these pets. And yeah, it's kind of underwhelming how little diamonds I'm getting. All right, we broke it. We got 500k. And how much does this loot bag give us? We're getting 300,000. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we're getting around 20,000 diamonds per tick, which is a little bit better, not gonna lie. But this chest also does have 10 times diamonds. Five minutes later. All right, we are back, and this chest is about to finally break. I've had the triple diamonds on this whole time, and this is pretty much the max gems we can get from this area currently. And yeah, we are about to see if it's uh, worth it or not to grind in this area. I think the daycare machine gives like 160 million gems every like two hours. So if it's not more than that, then this area is really bad, not gonna lie. So yeah, here we go. It's about to break. And there we go. And how many gems are we going to be getting? Okay, 7 million. 10 million, not bad. 18 million. Okay, that is uh, extremely underwhelming. Yeah, definitely just, uh, just don't grind this area. As you can see, if I go over here to the daycare machine and claim this stuff, I literally got 10 times more diamonds by just clicking a single button. So yeah, they definitely need to uh, buff this area because it is really bad right now. I mean, the only thing the areas have going for it is they look pretty cool, and that's pretty much it. Like, this first area does look pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie, but grinding diamonds and actually trying to get gems, it's just really bad. And also the fact you have to sacrifice a huge pet, it's uh, pretty bad, not gonna lie. And I also saw a lot of people sacrificing like their best huge pet. If you guys want to sacrifice a pet to go in here, I definitely suggest you guys just use a golden huge hell rock. Or even just a normal one because that one's worth even less, I'm pretty sure. And if you guys don't have one, just uh, go buy one because it's the cheapest huge pet you can use to sacrifice in here. So yeah, you guys are definitely better off instead of grinding the area to definitely just open eggs. And also I just realized they got rid of the Easter gifts inside of the shop. And there currently is 3.36 million of the Marshmallow Agonies and the Easter Dominances. And yeah, if you guys have seen the previous videos, you guys would know my luck is uh, pretty bad, not gonna lie. So I'm probably just gonna hold off on buying these exclusive crystal eggs because uh, I probably won't get anything anyways. And also before I do end off the video, we do have the brand new Titanic Lucky and the Titanic Capybara dropping tomorrow. Or actually, it's in a few hours at the time this video goes up, but yeah, we should be getting those very soon as well. See, so yeah, I'm gonna try my best to go ahead and buy some, but uh, I'm not sure if I'll be able to because it sells out really fast. And also, what I think is kind of interesting is that there's only 739 of the Titanic Hologram Cats, which is actually not a lot for a Titanic pet, and the fact that it was in the shop for three weeks is actually pretty good. As you can see, the previous Titanic Dominus Astra has almost a thousand in the index. 
Yeah, whenever they add a new exclusive pet, you're able to see how many exist of the previous exclusive egg, and that's how we now know how much are in this egg. Or not this egg, this titanic hologram cat. But yeah, already after the update, there's already 127 of the huge Easter Yetis, and it's been like 5 hours after the update, so that's kind of a lot, not gonna lie. I think it's also gonna be pretty hard to get this new rank, because I'm only at 3% so far, and it's taking a pretty long time to get more percent. I mean, I could spend like 6,000 Robux to rank up, but that's definitely not the smartest decision. But yeah, for those of you guys that do decide to grind the area, make sure you enchant your pets with some diamonds enchant because you get a lot more diamonds with the enchants rather than just having your best pets. As you can see previously, I was getting like almost 20,000, and now I'm getting a little bit less. It's not that bad, though. But yeah, having diamond enchants on your pets will give you a lot more diamonds. And one also small thing that did change is if we go into the exclusive shop and scroll down, they pretty much just change it so the diamond cat and the huge diamond cat now have diamond enchants. The regular diamond cat has diamond bag luck 1, and the huge diamond cat has diamond bag master, which is kind of cool. And yes, yeah, might not be that bad because there's pretty much no huge pets that exist right now that have these brand new enchants, except for the ones you can buy inside of the shop. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and grind this new Easter egg for a little bit and see if I can maybe get lucky to hatch the huge Easter Yeti, I don't know. So yeah, here we go and uh, wish me luck. Alright, we are back, and uh, I don't think we hatched anything, except for a couple of golden secrets, which I guess isn't that bad. We actually forgot to turn off auto-delete, and uh, yeah, I have a lot of these spring bees. But yeah, before I end off the video, let me go and check the mailbox and see what you guys have sent me. Alright, so the first gift, this person said, do a video where you go from a starter pet to a huge rock, but on an alt account. So yeah, maybe I'll do that in the future, but uh, honestly, I have no clue what'll happen. But yeah, thank you for the party axe a lot, I appreciate it. The next gift we have from this person named Seanosaurus, he said, I saw you in Plaza, I want to give you this. And he sent us a huge cupid corgi, so thank you, bro, I appreciate it. The next gift, this person just sent a safari cat with no context, so thank you for this pet, I guess. I love the vids and saw you AFK, can I maybe get a huge pet? Thank you for watching the vids, I appreciate it, and I'll probably be giving out a huge pet soon. But yeah, thank you for the party axolotl, I appreciate it. This next person said, please hardcore pet. I would hook you up, bro, but uh, my hardcore pets are uh, non-existent right now. Like, I don't think I have a single hardcore pet inside of my inventory. So yeah, I'm sorry, bro. I literally cannot give you a hardcore pet. But uh, thanks for the Easter Dominus, I guess. And the last two gifts are from this person, and he said, Can I have a huge, and can you add me? And he said, You're the best. So yeah, sadly, I cannot add people, but uh, thanks for the Safari Cat and the Party Axolotl. I appreciate it. But yeah, that pretty much is everything for the video. But yeah, that pretty much is everything for the video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, because we're on the road to 100k subs, and I'd appreciate it if you subscribe. And yeah, thank you boys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.